Hello and welcome back to Digital Assets Daily. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in your corner of the world. So the XRP Ledger unveils exciting update details, and the update improves rounding of reduced offers. <clears throat> the XRP Ledger is on pace for new enhancements with the amendment Fixed Reduce Offers V1 now activated on the mainnet. So XRPL... The amendment process only allows protocol changes after two weeks of more than 80% validator support, a requirement that has been fulfilled by this amendment. And again, the XRPL getting an update. Just as recently, the XDC network had received an update as well. So next article of discussion, Ripple is setting its sights on dominating 300 trillion. Yes, that's 300 trillion USD payment sector and at the time of this article let's just go ahead and give you that right now as it scrolls across the screen we're going to wait until xrp pops up just so we can get an updated xrp price at the time of recording this video there we go current price of xrp is 0.6207 so we're at 62 cents and we're uh, i should I would think we are going to see something move before the end of the year, if not the end of the month. There's so much going on. Another thing, too, while we're talking about that, um, November 30th, we're going to have the meeting with the SEC and Ripple for their next um, private meeting. It would be very, 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 very exciting. Fingers crossed. <gasps> Holding our breath. That's the sound of holding our breath that maybe we would get a settlement this month. Could you imagine? It would really, 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 really explode. And we have all the ISO 2022 going live uh, this month. Man, there's, there's so much happening. It's just a matter of time before this explosion begins. And when it does, I'm not sure it's going to slow down. My first initial thought is, you know, when we pump, we're probably going to see something like $25, $50. And then... It would be exciting to not see it retrace, but I am sure there will be a massive exiting on that. I would honestly, if we hit 25, 50 bucks, I'd expect to see 80% of all XRP sold at that point, just to be honest. So having said that, I wouldn't be surprised if we retraced back to something like around, you know, the previous all time high, close to five bucks or so. And then I would quickly expect to see that bought up so fast by the enterprise institutions and the wholesale market. And then I would expect to see significant new all-time highs of three, four, five digits. And yes, I did say that three, four, and five digits because when you, this article alone, what do you think 300 trillion is if you're getting into the market and XRP is a part of that? Where would XRP be at 300 trillion? at a 53 billion circulating supply where would it be at 10 percent of that where would it be at one percent of that i mean those are significant numbers you got to think about those because that's literally where we are today so ripple seems to be paying more attention to a macro financial factor and less attention to short-term price fluctuations these days an executive statement that emphasizes this shift suggests that Ripple is focusing on the international cross-border payment market. As a result, the active drop in XRP price is almost finished, but the altcoin lacks the necessary positive momentum to start a rebound. And that I disagree because we just discussed it. Because with its payment solutions that use XRP for cross-border settlements, Ripple hopes to take a piece of that rapidly growing payment market, which is expected to reach $300 trillion by 20. 30. And if you follow us on Twitter, you definitely want to. If you do not, again, you know, hit that like and subscribe for the YouTube. We're going to get back a little more focused on making our videos. We had a few, you know, disruptions, but I think we're going to be back on track here shortly. So Ripple's fate hangs in balance. The SEC's closed door meeting sparks speculation and hope in the XRP community. And just as we were discussing a few minutes ago, the cryptocurrency world is abuzz with anticipation at the U.S. SEC gearing up for a pivotal closed-door meeting on November 30th, 2023. And again, hopefully we will see some closure, 
so we can start moving forward from this three-year delay of this court case oh you know not really sure what to call that one because it's literally been a, a beat down from ripple to the sec even though they were jay clayton throwing that lawsuit onto uh, you know xrp brad garlinghouse chris larson and ripple on his way out the door literally then you had gary gensler came over and taking over where he left off but again i've always felt like it was a, a same team process but let's move on beyond that i digress because again we're to the point now where this thing is hopefully over next and final article last but not least the iso 20022 ready ripple xrp hadera hbar stellar xlm and cardano 88 forge path to central bank partnerships and that's where we already see quite a few of those already making CBDCs. But ISO 20022 compliant cryptocurrencies offer a unified standard for financial messaging, potentially leading to global mainstream adoption. The DTIs, the digital token identifiers, are crucial for distinguishing digital currency transactions in the banking sector, similar to traditional currency codes. And guys, remember... This is not financial advice. It's for entertainment purposes only. Be smart when you're investing. Be patient when you're holding. And be kind when you reap your rewards. But as always, before we go, I do want to leave you with a final thought. Respect yourself enough to know you deserve the very best. Much love to each and every one of you. And we will catch you in the next one.